Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to discuss 5 books that will be the best books for you if you are a beginner into reading. So yeah, let's get started. As a beginner, it's a little tough to even imagine yourself getting into a book and reading so many pages and finishing a book. So it's a little tough to imagine yourself in that place. But if you're really into it, if you're really interested in getting into reading, because there's absolutely nothing as therapeutic and better than reading, because reading not only is some kind of entertainment but is it is actually something that will enhance your personality in the long run so if you are actually determined to actually transform into a reader then i think this video will be helping you also i'm I have tried uh, my best to include all kind of books. I know it's a little tough because there are so many books and I'll, I will only be suggesting you five in this one. But I have tried to incorporate different genres of books. So uh, let's see if you will like this video. So it's always better to start with a love story because well obviously love stories are interesting and everyone is interested in reading a nice love novel so here it is the fault in our stars by john green i know you must have already heard about this book or maybe you have already watched the movie but if you are trying to become a reader or if you want to some if you want to read something i think the fault in our stars will be the best Thing to start as a beginner this book will be something that will actually be really helpful for you because firstly it has a very interesting story uh, as you will all already know if you have watched the movie it it, it is it is like the one of the best love stories that we have in our times right now uh, this is a best seller and not only the best seller even the movie was like super hit and a lot of people have watched it so if you are someone who wants to like get started i think if you if you uh take this book up i think you will be finishing it in like a few days only so, so the second book that i have here in this list is a detective novel and it is always a good idea to grab a good uh detective novel with a nice murder mystery into it and that will be just the perfect thing to do and so here we have our second book this is agatha christie's the mysterious affair at styles now this book is one of the best agatha christie books in my opinion because i read this book and i was i was at the last i was on the last page and i was just completely shook by it it was so great and if you're a beginner you want a book that you cannot just put aside because once you just put it aside you will not be wanting to finish it anymore but if there is a book that you just cannot resist to keep aside and you just have have to finish it then i think a detective novel will be uh, will be the best for you so although there are a lot of agatha christie's novels you can pick any one of them but this one is uh, special because this is her first detective novel but that doesn't mean that it, it is amateurish or anything this one is one of her best works in my opinion this one is a, is one of her best and the best thing about this is that even the language is pretty lucid and pretty easy for you to understand it's not like she has written in some i don't know very uh, difficult language or anything she has written it in plain language very simple to read very easily you can read it and this will be like the best Thing for you to start if you're a beginner next book is twinkle khanna's the legend of lakshmi prasad here is the book and uh, this is a very light read novel this has four stories four different stories in it i already have a review on my channel for this book you can go and check that if you want some details on it four stories that are there in this book are the legend of lakshmi prasad salam noniapa if the weather permits the sanitary man for a sacred land so there are four short stories basically in this one book and this is written by twinkle Kanna. this is a light read very easy because the language is very easy firstly so as a beginner if you're someone who wants something light so i think this will be nice for you because it has a really uh, light and easy breezy um, 
vibe to it so you can just get this one and read it's light and everything so you will be able to finish it easily and even have some grip on the language as well so the fourth book that i have in this list is the perks of being a wallflower here's the book this is pretty tiny it's a very small book you can finish it easily so this book is about a teenager charlie and he gets along with two other friends and they have their adventures and he gets um, he basically writes the, actually the book is in uh, the form of letters that is he is he is basically writing someone letters and in those letters he is telling him about whatever is going on in his life and is about and in the lives of his friends and family his sister and everything so uh, it's like that and this is a very um, heartwarming and very endearing type of a story also this has a very deep meaning in it a very deep story in it and this one is a story with depth and i think you will love this book if you have a knack for philosophical stuff and this actually even speaks about the social cause as well so also the perks of being a wallflower is a movie and that movie has also been directed by the same person who wrote this book and so you can also watch the movie after reading this or if you have already watched the movie then reading this will be even better for you because so the fifth and the last book that we have in this list is and frank the diary of a young girl this is what the book looks like and this is based upon this girl and frank who was hiding with a family from the german nazis in amsterdam and she would uh, record everything that used to happen around her observations of uh, the people around her the german nazis her frustration and uh, the clashes with her family and everything all such things she used to write and later her diary was actually transformed and published into a book and this is that i think you must have already read about this in your school but this is a whole novel and i think it will be good for you as uh, as a beginner because the writing is pretty smooth and easy and this is very informative this will be good for you in the future so as i wanted to include all kind of books in this list so this one as an autobiography if you can say is it, i mean this book is about a real person so i wanted to add this book as well so all these five books that i have added into the list will be perfect for you if you're a beginner because you can put, pick any one of them and so here are all the books that i told you about and you can see they are pretty beautiful so i guess i've made this far and um, so if you liked my video till now then do click on the like button subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos click on the bell button so you're notified every time i'm on youtube and okay i'll see you next time goodbye